Hello space nerds and welcome to Microcosmos. Today we're going to talk about the Vector R rocket. This rocket is built by Vector Space Systems, a private American aerospace company based in Tucson, Arizona. The company's CEO, Jim Cantrell, helped Elon Musk form SpaceX in 2002 but left shortly afterward. Among other goals for the company, they are well known for their progress in creating a dedicated low-cost launch vehicle for microsatellites such as CubeSats. The Vector R can be considered the standard launch vehicle of Vector Space Systems. With a payload capacity of 50 kilograms to low Earth orbit, the rocket consists of two to three stages with an estimated cost of 1.5 million US dollars for the two-stage version and 2 million US dollars for the three-stage version. The first and second stages are composed of carbon fiber fuselages and use liquid oxygen and propylene for fuel. The first stage uses three 25 kilonewton engines and the second stage, called the Vector Wolverine, uses a a 3.7 kilonewton engine. Separation from the first stage is around 200 to 250 kilometers in altitude, and upon second stage separation, a third stage can be employed. Vector Space Systems will offer one of two versions for the third stage, a micro upper stage consisting of a 20 newton engine block or an electric upper stage. This electric upper stage uses a micro cathode ion propulsion system to increase efficiency. The thruster system has proven flight heritage from microsatellite applications and is manufactured by Vector. The entire rocket has a height of 12 meters and a diameter of around 1.2 meters. Its mass at liftoff will be around 5,000 kilograms. Fairing sizes will include the standard conical fairings and large sized fairings that will offer a little more volume for bigger satellites. Vector Space Systems has two launch facilities, one at LC-46 at Cape Canaveral and one at Kodiak Island in Alaska. These allow low inclination and polar inclination launches, respectively. The company declares that the first stage of the Vector R rocket will be reusable, and it should be available for launches as early as 2018, with suborbital test launches beginning this year. A larger version of the rocket, called the Vector H, is in the design phase, with an expected payload capacity of 105 kilograms to low Earth orbit. A reusable first stage, availability starts starting in 2019 and a baseline cost of 3 million US dollars per launch. I'm very excited to watch Vector Space Systems accomplish their goals and become the first microsatellite dedicated rocket, bringing costs down and giving access to more privately built satellites within the next couple of years. I hope you liked today's episode of Microcosmos. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe and enable notifications to catch our future episodes. Have a good week!